So what sort of proof would you actually need? So it really depends on your source. It may be that you have one source for the property purchase, or you may have a few different sources. But depending on the source of funds, um, you would then need different documentary evidence and, and different information to satisfy the checks. I think it might be good to give you a few examples of that so yeah. we can see what that looks like in practice. So, for example, if your source of funds is the sale of a previous property, then your conveyancer will need to know how much you obtained from the proceeds from the sale. But they will also need to see documentary evidence such as um, a completion statement from the solicitor who acted for you on the sale, um, together with a corresponding bank account. Show those funds actually going into your account. And then the current link, which would be the funds still in your account to fund the purchase of the property. If you're purchasing the property via inheritance, it may be that um, you were left a nice gift by um, a grandparent, then that would go back to asking for a copy of the will and then correspondence from the solicitor showing the amount that you were due um, and the um, executor sending those funds to you to your bank account and again showing that in a bank account. So there are different steps to satisfy depending on the source of what the, the funds are. Um, and I think it's important to be really clear with your conveyancer if it's one source or several sources um, and show um, that explanation really quickly and then whatever your conveyancer asks of you, you work on that information and getting it to your conveyancer as soon as possible and answering it as fully as possible. But if you're still unsure, best thing to do is ask. Okay.